to truth is the greatest treasure in the journey of life god bless you clapping sanati to let us appreciate God. truth is the greatest treasure in the journey of life if you want to get the best in life become the best learn to be truthful but naturally speaking truth is bitter yes or no <laughs> truth is bitter there is why many of us we are usually shy we shy away from the truth let me start by saying that if you desire to get the best and be the best in all areas of life please encourage yourself to build your life on the truth please encourage yourself to build your life on the truth most especially we Lagosians you know many of us people like us that came from Milan when we arrived Lagos, we now realize that the, the lie in Elon is even true in Lagos. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's only in Lagos stage you will say, I can't answer, I can't answer. Please, I'm going to Abu Legba. And the person will say, follow this side. Go that way. Go down, 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 down. And the person is deceiving you. And the person is what? Is deceiving you. But in the learning, say, ah, okay, ah, ah. 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 And that is how you will meet it. But when I came to Lagos, I realized that Lagos... Praise the Lord. But the truth must be told. Ignorantly, let me start by saying this. Many people, we need to understand the angels that work with us. If the angels that is working with you is the angel of the truth, and you are fond of lying, there will be, tro there will be trouble. I'm telling you, there will be a problem. Come. Let's assume the angel that is working with Brad David is the angel of the truth. And Brad David is fond of lying. This is the way your angel walks side by side with you. But immediately you begin to lie, the angel will step back. The more you continue, the angel will step him back. And look at Brad David, yeah, move forward. See, 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 see. And nobody is created to be alone. There is a guiding angel. That is why you see many of us, when we tell lies, we regret within 24 hours. Because we have used our own hand to push aside. I get it, mommy. I get it, so the angel. Now, there are many of us, you need help. And the person you want to go to, sir. God, help, God bless you, sir. I'm here. Because of my house rent. Maybe I should use myself as an example. One day, where we are still at the youth church, I pray Holy Spirit minister to me. Said, Son, go and meet the landlord. And then go and meet this also person. Ah. So I went to the landlord and said, We have interest. In fact, we are not up to the youth church. Then we are not up to half of the youth church. Because we started, we moved from Sululere to Yen Korodu. And this minister started to me, go and meet this person you used to pray for. Tell him your problem. So I went to the person, the person was living at Harlem. When I arrived at the person's place, the person was happy to see me, I was happy to see the person. So after... We discuss, as usual, I pray with them. And then, from nowhere, fear just catch me. Ah, ah. 
I pray for somebody here. On your day of glory, your yeah, fear no go catch you. Yeah. The devil is a liar. Fear just catch me from nowhere. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And the person now said, Ah, Pastor, thank God you are here. Things have been difficult. Ah. <laughs> things have been difficult. I said, things have been difficult. And immediately, you know, fear has already catch me. The fear now double. <laughs> ah. And I begin to wonder, but Holy Spirit said I should come to this man and tell him, as usual, the wife said, ah, Pastor, share my je bread. What do you mean, je bread? Think of money, what okay. And normally, because we are like one big happy family, anytime I get there very early, they make tea for me and bread, fry. So I was destabilized. I said, but God said I should come and meet this person. And the person now starts saying, ah, things have been difficult, the business is not going. If I first will be praying for us, so I would not do that. As I was about going, and they want to move, the driver said, ah, Ogamoti ready, want to move. From nowhere, the spirit of boldness entered me. And I said, well, still, I couldn't come out straight. I have to bend. <laughs> ah. I said, well, um, I'm here for a purpose, and I think I should not even say it again. He said, no, whatever you want to say, say it. Ah. I said, well, you know our church has been here. And then Holy Spirit said to me that we should go for the uh, second floor that God has a plan for us and the Holy Spirit said I should come and meet you. I said, ah, it's not that kind of money I'm talking of. And he entered and brought the money. Hallelujah. Jump on your feet. I pray for somebody here. Every spirit of fidgety, every spirit of fear, that usually show face to terminate your testimony. Right now, I command that spirit to come out and die. Amen. 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 You may be seated. People of God, no matter what happened, say the truth. Don't be afraid of anybody. That day, I learned another lesson. When the man brought the money in cash, ah, when he already yammed you, all on your your destiny is in your hand. No matter what you are going through or passing through, at worst, the person will say no. Register your intention. I'm telling you. Because in life, there are certain things that will never move until you move. In life, there are certain stories that will never change until you change. So don't allow any situation, circumstances to cow you or cage you. Nobody will kill you. The most treasure in life is nothing but the truth. There's no story that God cannot change to glory. That day I learned the bitter lesson of my life. Say, eh? The devil plant fear. That is why we have to be very careful. I've said this time without number. Our heart determines our height. No matter what you are going through or passing through, never allow the devil to cage you. Most especially things that have to do with human beings. That's why I don't condemn any sinner. No matter the level of your sin, I don't condemn sinner. I will tell you your mistake and I will say correct your mistake. That's okay. I'm not God. I'm a sinner like any other person. But unfortunately, many of us, we are also afraid of what people will say. Are people you? People are not you. So, the most important thing in life is nothing but the truth. Praise the Lord. Beloved, your business can go higher.
Let me tell you this bitter truth about the truth. Change does not take time. It only takes the truth. For things to change, even when doctors say it's not possible, just believe in God. I know many of you will not believe this story I want to share, but I think I've shared time without number. And I think Pastor Mitch will remember. I have a man like that that I do pray for in London. And this married man has one woman friend. Praise the Lord. And one day, they have been dating, they have been befriending each other, rather, for like, I think, 15 years. How many years? 15 years. One day, I was praying with this man on phone, and I said, that's your man friend, we get pregnant. And that's my laugh. <laughs> Only go possible. Ah, ah. Money, but that is what I saw. Only it's not possible, Pastor. Only if I didn't know you, I would have said you are lying. And I say, uh, what do you mean? He said one of the balopia tube is already blocked. And doctor has confirmed it. There's no how she can get pregnant. I'm standing on the altar of God. Do that, that same year, that woman got pregnant. Yeah. Don't clap, oh. <laughs> Even me, I was shocked. I was married to Lolong. So be careful. God is the chief architect of your life, but you are the architect of your destiny. But unfortunately, that woman has already gotten how many children before three. But the word of God came to pass. Let me shock you. The word of God concerning you is too good. Don't believe the lies of the devil. I'm telling you the honest truth. Maybe you have had it. You are a glorious child. That is what you should believe. Don't believe what you are going through. There are certain things that God has made happen through me that even me, I can't even explain. The woman got pregnant. What doctors said can never be possible. It was a rude shock. And the woman is already 50 plus. So they have to go and remove the pregnancy. She already has three children now. And besides, the man too has his own wife with children. They are just friends. Now, who can explain that God's arithmetic? Stand on your feet. What people thought can never be done. What you have concluded that can never be possible. God will use it to surprise you. Jesus Christ said, you may be seated, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Just believe. Beloved, it does not matter what others do, do not join them. No matter how fast or how long lies, falsehood and deception go, truth always catches up with them. That's why John 8.32 says, And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. No matter your condition, don't lie. Don't try to impress human beings. Human beings are not your creator. He walk all over, he walk all over, he walk all over me. O si un soro biele du mare i woko And you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free The book of Proverbs 23 verse 20 says buy the truth and sell it not What is the truth you shall be the head and not the tail What is the truth? Where they say there is casting down, you shall say there shall be a lifting up. It is foolishness for you to always submit in totality to what the devil presents to you. Beloved, let us see a Bible case scenario. John 8, verse 1 to 11. 
But Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Now early in the morning, he came again into the temple and all the people came to him and he sat down and taught them. Then the scribes and the Pharisees brought to him a woman caught in adultery. Caught in what? In adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in adultery in the very act. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what do you say, people of God? Woman being condemnation is not God's condemnation. Woman being may condemn, God will commend. God loves every sinner. He only hates the sin. <laughs> a particular husband want to kill the wife. Every day, beating, 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 beating. The wife was battered by the man. The, man start, the woman started seeing stars. From stars, she started seeing death coming. And they started advising the wife, why not leave this man? The woman is saying, God hates divorce. And a good advisor said to the woman, truly God hates divorce, but God loves divorcee. <laughs> because if you die in that marriage, that's my woman, another woman. Of the truth, God hates divorce, but God loves divorce. It's only the living that can serve God. We should give ourselves brain. Husband and wife should complement each other. The women are not our slaves. Yes or no? Ah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, we'll be here. <laughs> you better do the right thing. If you don't do the right thing, the right blessing cannot come. If you be like, say yes. Ah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> so they said to Jesus Christ, look at this woman. And they even reminded Jesus that remember, now Moses in the law commanded us that souls should be stoned. But what do you say, Jesus? This they said, testing him that they might have something of which to accuse him. But Jesus took down and wrote on the ground with his finger as, it, as though he did not hear. So when they continued asking him, he raised himself up and said to them, he who who is without sin among you? Let him throw a stone at her first. And again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. Then those who had it, being convicted by their conscience, went out one by one, beginning with the oldest, even to the last. And Jesus was left alone. And the woman standing in the midst, when Jesus had raised, him, raised himself up and saw no one but the woman, he said to her, Woman, where are those accusers of yours? As no one condemned you, she said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said to her, Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Beloved, they rally ran with an intention that Jesus Christ will give them order for them to stone this woman to death. Please, no matter what happened, don't be afraid to say the truth. Because truth can never die. Though truth is bitter, I agree. Truth is painful. But I bet you, in the night future, truth will bring you sweetness and it will bring unto you gain. But you need wisdom. If you are fighting for the truth, you need what? Ah, Like Sunday, go home. You need... If you are fighting for the truth, you need wisdom. You need to be fortified spiritually and you need the wisdom of God. Because of power to be. But nevertheless, stand for the truth. So all these people that rallied around against women, they were eventually disgraced openly. 
Because they all agree with Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ has spoken nothing but the truth. And there's nothing they could do any longer. We are enemies. Gather together to mess you up. May the Lord put them to shame. Amen. May the Lord put them to shame. Amen. What is the essence of today's message? Very simple. There are certain truths you need to know. There are certain truths you need to do regarding your business. There are certain truths. Your marriage. Your career. Because if you fail to run with that truth, nothing will change, no matter how prayerful you are. Like the prodigal son, the scripture recorded that when he came to himself, he realized his mistake. He preached the truth to himself. You are seated now. Maybe you need, all you need to do is for you to speak the truth to yourself. That no, this nonsense more stop. Several years back, a particular man walking, the man was a panel beater. And the man asked three girlfriends, tell your neighbor, three, how many girlfriends? And every day, this man we give each each girlfriend one one thousand. One one thousand. Help me calculate it. One for thirty days. Thirty thousand. Times times twelve. Three hundred and sixty thousand plus three hundred and sixty thousand plus three hundred and sixty thousand approximately one million. And the wife is at home doing nothing. And the wife used to fight the man. Fight the man. Fight the man. One day, I was invited by the man. The man loved me so much. The man confessed to me. Ah, and I said to him, you're a foolish man. That if anything happened to you, the person that will suffer most is your wife. Though the woman too, she stylishly ate out. In fact, what that statement, God used that statement to open his brain. It now done on him, now begin to calculate. Oto manike, 1,000, Lord no 30, 30,000, 30,000, Lord no 12. Ah, yeah, motirale. <laughs> Praise the Lord. 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 I want to one town here. I want to be road. One run me let you jam is see. jam. It's not for leg bag. Praise the Lord. You shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Many of us, we are victims of our own weakness. It's good to be nice. It's good to be kind. But wise up. Wise up. Be like the prodigal son. He came back to himself. He now realized the truth. And he returned back to his palace. And the story changed. Shall we rise this morning? Hallelujah. I want you to pray this prayer. Say, my father and my God, deliver me from the lies I tell myself. Open your mouth and talk to God. My Father and my God, deliver me from the lies I tell myself. Many of us, we are fond of deceiving ourselves. We deceive ourselves a lot. Lord, deliver me from the lie I tell myself. Deliver me, oh Lord. Deliver me from the lie I tell myself. Almighty God, deliver me from the lie I tell myself. I refuse to lie to myself. I love that as from today I refuse to deceive myself. Oh Lord, deliver me from the lie I tell myself. In Jesus mighty name. Say oh Lord, help me to stand for the truth.
prayer. Almighty God, help me to always stand on the truth. At every point in time, Father, help me to stand on the truth. In the aspect of my business, in the aspect of my career, help me, help me, help me, oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, say, oh Lord, disconnect me from lies and liars. Hold on. Hey, may you never make a liar your friend. Ah, may you never make a liar your friend. I want you to pray that prayer with holy anger. Oh Lord, disconnect me from lies and liars. Prayer. My Father and my God disconnect me from lies and liars. My life must move forward. Disconnect me from lies and liars. Disconnect me from lies and liars. In Jesus' mighty name. Close your eyes. If you are connected to liars, you will be in the midst of plenty, but you will be empty. Liars are time wasters. They are destiny wasters. Liars are like 419. Using gimmicks to collect your money. And like play, like play, day to weeks, weeks to months, months to years. I pray for everybody here. Every lies around you, every liars around you, may the Lord expose them and push them away. The truth you need to know for your life to move forward. The truth you need to know for peace to reign in your marriage, reign in your family. The peace you need to know for everything about you to turn around. As the shout of your three powerful men, may the Lord reveal such truth to you. Amen. 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 A man came from London last month. And while he was coming, because he has been in Nigeria, he came to Nigeria last, 18 years ago. And he came with his brother. And that brother happens to be the person he trusted most, not knowing that the brother was his number one enemy. They came here, I sat there, as I was praying, I've delivered about three messages immediately. It's like they pour water on me and immediately I sense it and I'll caution myself. I didn't speak for that again. Later on, I now house the man to excuse us. They want to come to me. The man try all means to stop his brother from coming to me. Why? At last, the following day, they travel to the village to see the house. He has been sending millions. When they arrive at the village, they saw land, no house. The man nearly fainted. They saw the land, no building. Journey of 18 years. Close your eyes and stretch out your two hands. Whoever has been associating with you, using gimmicks, using lies, using deception, let them be exposed by fire. Amen. Amen. When the man now returned to England, the man called me, the wife too called me, and I asked the man, Did you discuss anything with your wife? Said, ah, 
please, please don't tell my wife. I dare not. I dare not. I dare not. To my de poison to only le ban your so Loro ko Jesus Olua oni je ko shele. Why on phone? The one was saying, Pastor, we appreciate you that uh, we are we will see us very soon in Nigeria. They thought they have a house. <laughs> the one saying, I'm coming with my children. I'm ah. People of God, no matter what happened, tell people the truth. That is the best way to help others. That is Christianity. Don't say, if I, let me shock you. Truth, no, they scatter church. Truth, no, they scatter family. In the short run, it will shake the church, it will shake the family. But in the long run, it will bring multitudes. Nothing can kill the truth. Truth, no, they scatter business. Truth, not the scatter marriage. That's what many of us do not know. And that is why many people that are supposed to be great are small. We are always afraid of what people will say. I don't want to offend anybody. And you are lying, lying, lying. The most important person in this life is you before God. And the only thing that can rescue you, that can make God to rescue you, is nothing but the truth. Many people, most especially Christians, are living fake life. Hey, maybe I should tell you this story. Be patient. Have just sit one minute. I know of a man that loves his boss. This man loves his boss. And I love special son like that. Anytime the boss impregnated the wife, this man too will go and impregnate his wife. He loves his boss. And this man's wife, body be like pig. So when the boss wife give birth, less than three weeks or a month, this man too wife go give birth. That was how they started doing it. Um, two years later, the wife got pregnant, and the man flare up. Uh -uh. The man said, "Go and abort this pregnancy." Uh -uh. Money me, book with the year we let him and share your read. Oh, what about it? And I said, Sir, what happened? No, ah, no, I love my boss. Except, let me confirm if my boss has impregnated. True life story. True life story. I'm talking of a man that traveled London, America. I don't want to mention their name. The boss is a billionaire. And the wife, body, not peak. One touch, go enter. <laughs> One touch, <third> Granta. <laughs> the second child came. This man, too. Second child came. Less than two years, this woman conceived like three other times, but they aborted the pregnancy. Making about four or five termination of pregnancy in marriage. Now, the boss now impregnated the wife, third child. This man too now wants to try to impregnate the wife. Child no come again. The boss has four children now. This man has two. They started running at Askata. Started at Askata. From one gynecologist to Pastor Tony. From Pastor Tony to Prayer Mountain to MFN. Power must change hand. Nothing change hand. Many children of God are living fake life. Fake life. Let us stop deceiving ourselves. We are fond of making woman be our standard. Woman be is not your standard. No matter how rich, no matter how exposed, no matter how educated, God is your standard. What God designed for you is different from what God designed for Barashola. What God designed for Barashola is different from what God designed for me. You shall know the truth. The truth shall set you free. Shall we rise? Pray this last prayer point. Say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Help me to always apply the truth. Open your mouth and talk to God. Father, help me to always apply the truth. Whether the situation is good or bad. 
Father, help me to always apply the truth. In Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. Women in the house, congratulations. Because after this message, I'm so sure that all the husbands in this auditorium now, they will no longer be hiding their money for you. Because there are some husbands, they hide money, they put inside socks, some inside shoe. They have heard the message, truth. And I pray for you, you the woman, your money, always borrow your husband. You have heard the message now. You shall know the truth. Jam your hands together.